And now it's braided. Oh. Put go. it down. <laughs> What's it all been like working with Sean Newis so far? It's been really exciting. You know, we have a coach who, uh, he's from the islands that uh, he loves to remind us that he's from the islands. And he's just bringing a lot of new en energy to the uh, whole D-line right now. You know, it's been awesome getting to meet him, getting to work with him, and just getting to learn from another great uh, defensive line mind has just been awesome so far, especially these last two days, and especially getting to meet him in uh, early January. How much different is it for you to work with him after a couple years of Madison? Uh, you know, just a whole different, you know, type of, uh, you know, culture. You know, Coach Madison had his way of going, and now Coach Newell brings us fresh, uh, new perspective on, you know, how to play D-line, what it were, you know, just... Coach Maddie had his principles, and now Coach Noah has his principles. And it's just awesome getting to learn from two uh, great defensive line coaches and just having both of them here in my time at Michigan. I'm real thankful, you know, that I got Maddie and now I have Coach Noah, especially for these last, uh, you know, this final season and uh, next season coming up. What are some of the different principles? He's just a younger guy, you know. He's uh, closer in age to a lot of us, and he's just bringing his own style and his own taste on uh, how we should play D-line. And we've just, you know, we're all eager to learn it and we're just excited to go out and get to learn under him. Can you give us a hint of what, how, how he wants you to play defensive line? Uh, you know, it's a little hard to explain just because it's more just a feeling. You know, you had your, you know, your feeling when you were under Coach Madison of how, you, you know, he wanted you to play. And now uh, Coach Newell comes and he's putting his spin on it. And it's just a different feeling, you know. You take the field, you just feel a little bit different because you're playing for a different guy, and you want to you want to set a good first impression for him. Feel better? Uh, you know, you feel good whenever you go out and take the field, and uh, you know, better. It doesn't really, you know, it's how you feel when you go take the field. And Coach Nua, just getting to be with him and learning, you know, from past Coach Madison. And then bringing what Matt, uh, Coach Newell's brought, you get to you know mix and morph the two and just pick and choose. And he's been real, you know, helpful in that sense of he's you know saying we're not getting rid of everything we just previously done. You know, especially for some of the 2016 guys, we've been here four years. You're not just gonna get four years of coaching. He said, you know, we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna add on. I'm gonna add my style and allowing us to have that freedom to uh, you know have what we had previously. And now we have him. It's just it's been an awesome blend and a good mix. Were you surprised with Madison, though? Was I surprised? Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially I was surprised. I thought, you know, for sure I was going to have him at least my whole time here. I think every recruit feels the same way whenever you're, you join that bond with any one of your position coaches. You always want to, whoever recruited you, you always want to finish that out with him just because of the experiences you had when you were so young, when you know, 17, 18 years old. How did a defensive lineman find out that news? Uh, he, he let us know. He called all of us and let us know, which was really nice of him to do. Would you still send him a Christmas card? Why still send him a Christmas card? Uh, yeah, I still send Coach Madison a Christmas card. Um, he, you know, he's a big reason why I came to Michigan, and I'm very thankful that he brought me here. And I'm very, very thankful for the time I got to spend, uh, you know, for those three years working with him, and you know, he built me to the point where I'm at today. So I'm very thankful for his time that I got to have with him. Is no. it a little weird looking around and, and not seeing the faces? on the line that, that you got used to over the last few years? Uh, players? Yeah. Yeah, of course, especially because I was so close with those guys that were that are now preparing for the NFL draft just because we were close in age. Rashawn's my class. Uh, Chase's only a year older than me. Uh, Lowe and Duomi, uh, not Duomi, uh, Monet. We were all just, we were a nice, tight-knit family, and it's just, uh, it's hard seeing them all go but they left a really good foundation for us to uh, follow, especially with this year coming up. Where do you expect to play on the line this year? Wherever they need me, honestly. Uh, last year I played three tech right. for the majority of the season, and then for the uh, Florida Bowl game I moved to nose. And I think it's just having a good you know, diversification of positions is just always going to be able to you know, help you understand the entire defense, help your teammates out, and especially if someone you know, gets tired and you got to go in, it's, you know, Wherever they need me, I'll go in and play. It's helped me learn a lot. Do you see yourself more as an inside guy now? For sure. I think that's definitely where I feel that I can do a better job of helping this team be successful. How responsible do you feel uh, with guys like Chase and Rashawn, Lawrence Marshall, Brian Monet, guys like that leaving to carry on sort of that mantle of leadership and then teaching the younger guys? Yeah, you know, when I came in, it was, you know, Wormley and Taco, and, uh, Godin and Glasgow. And then they, you know, set the foundation for Chase and Rashawn. And now I think coming up now, it's, you know, up to, you know, some of the older guys now. You just kind of pass the torch 
the D line room is so tight, and there's such a big pride in that room where we set the standard, you know, that was set when all the young guys came here and saw those older guys and all the amazing accomplishments they did. We just want to keep that up for them. I know it's early, but any of the younger guys sticking out to you along the line? All of them. I mean, they're coming in. They're working so hard right now. They're getting into their playbooks. They're taking the field with a passion and energy right now. That's just so awesome to see. There's really no, you know, uh, you know, it'll take some time. Not really. These guys are out there. They're flying around. They're running the ball. And uh, it's been a good mix. You know, they've been in the meeting room with us, and they're, they're in the playbooks. And these are guys that are really serious about, you know, getting onto the field and getting to, you know, help us out this season. Any early impressions of Mozzie Smith in particular? In particular, Mozzie? Mm -hmm. Mozzie, I mean, strong dude, very strong dude. Uh, I mean, you can just see it when he starts walking up. You can see just his build, and he's a strong dude. Let me just tell you that. Describe the jump for an Aiden Hutchison. He played some last year, and now he's been through winter and gets into spring ball. What, what, what do you learn that first year that you can really use? Uh, just getting that a little taste of, like, you know, what this is, what college football was about. And with Aiden, he had a much, you know, better experience than I did. He really came in, and he got to really play. You know, he was in there. He was working. He got to... He was in crucial games, crucial stops, so he has all that experience. And when he was in, he did his job and made plays, but now it's, you know, now it's that time for him to go in there and, you know, be the guy, be the guy, you know, every single down, play after play, and he just got that, that taste, and now it's, you know, it's time for him to uh, make that jump where it's, it's him, he's the guy on the line, and he's in there the entire, you know, entire game. It, somebody that hasn't really gotten a taste is, is Luigi. And uh, is it good to be able to see him back out there competing? Oh, yeah, because you always feel for a guy, especially Luigi, such a good kid and just how hard he works. And having his first two years cut by, you know, a, you know some very sad two-season-ending injuries, you know, it's just always good to see him because, you know, that first year he's working to get back on the field and then he's there, right? He's with us and then boom, another one. And then it's like, you know, keep your head up, keep working because, you know, God has a plan for all of us and his plan was just, it took him two years and now he's at this point and we're just so excited to see him play. I mean, you can only imagine what he's got inside and I would really, really hate to be an O-lineman for him. Since you only had a couple days of practices, do you see anything different with the offense? Uh, you know, just a, a new energy. Those guys are out there. They're, you know, we haven't been in pads yet, but I can tell you this on Friday, it is going to be a physical, physical day just because we're in two steps right now. And you wouldn't even know we were in two steps. Everybody's going hard to the play. Everybody wants to win. There's a real sense of competition right now. And I think the, you know, especially with the offense, they want to, they want to beat us and we want to beat them. And it's just bringing everybody up, you know, play after play. And, Friday when we put the pads on, it's going to be a, an electric day in Glick. How different is that energy compared to maybe some of the other years? Is it when you say it's different? Is there a different kind of urgency based off of how like last year ended? Yeah, just because we, you know, we were at a point where we we had our goals, you know, within reach. You know, they were really right there coming down into the last couple of games of the season. And for us now, it's it's not, you know, how do we rebuild? It's just we're picking up where we left off. You know, we've got that that sour taste in our mouth coming off, a, you know, a, a one and two finish to another year here. It was just not what we want to be known for. We want to you know, work hard the entire season like we've been doing for at least my time here. But we want to finish those last three games out. We want to win the big games and, you know, put ourselves in a position to achieve what we want to achieve. Guys, I'm going to move Carlo out. I'm going to have him stick here for a minute if you want to still talk to him. I'm going to move Kalik in here.